Hi, I'm Wen Xin and I teach in the Pharmaceutical Engineering program in SIT. Today, I'm going to let you know how to spot the seven signs that the Pharmaceutical Engineering program is for you. The first sign that the Pharmaceutical Engineering program is for you is that you enjoy helping people behind the scenes. And that is because while doctors prescribe medicines and pharmacists dispense the medicines that, are, that the doctors prescribe, all this wouldn't be possible without the pharmaceutical engineers that manufacture the medicines in pharmaceutical companies. So pharmaceutical engineers definitely save lives, but we don't do them as frontliners. We are not patient facing. Instead, we work behind the scenes to make sure the medicines get to the hands of the patients that need them. And we do that by focusing on the manufacturing and production part of the medicine life cycle, which also includes the QA and QC, making sure that the medicines are safe for consumption and effective for treatment. Sign number two that the pharmaceutical engineering program is for you is that working in an industry that is growing excites you. The pharmaceutical industry in Singapore is expanding as seen from this chart here. The local pharmaceutical market has been growing every year and is expected to continue growing, reaching a market size of 2.19 billion USD by 2023. The growth of the local pharmaceutical industry is evident in the number of global pharmaceutical companies that manufactures in Singapore. Amgen, GSK, BD, MSD, all these companies set up their facilities' original headquarters in Singapore. Recent years also saw companies like Sanofi and Thermo Fisher producing their vaccines in Singapore. And now, if you are interested to learn all about pharmaceutical drug manufacturing, that is the third sign that the pharmaceutical engineering program is for you. That's because in this program, you will be taught the full spectrum of pharmaceutical drug manufacturing competencies, from drug design all the way to compliance and QA. And of course, the process development, optimization, and process regulation that are in between. If you enjoy applied learning and hands-on lab, then it's another sign that this program is for you. Our graduates have been described as having the can-do attitude and very hands-on. That kind of description is not surprising to us because that is exactly what we train our students in. If you look at our program structure, the red boxes, all those show modules that have hands-on or practical sessions. So in modules like chemistry, biomolecular science, engineering principles, unit operations, and pharmaceutical analytical techniques, these are the lab components that are embedded in the module, or the whole module is actually a lab. That doesn't mean that all the other modules are just theory. We apply um, the applied learning pedagogy in all our modules, where the application of the content being learned is the emphasis, rather than just memorizing facts or equations. The whole program takes three years and four months, where there are three trimesters in a year, so it's very different from the semester structure in other autonomous universities in Singapore. We start in September and end in December. If you want more details on the individual modules, you can take a look at the module description in our website. The program is also structured in such a way that once our students go for their IWSP, the Integrated Work Study Program, which is our internship program, they go for um, one whole year and immediately after that they graduate so that they can continue working in the same company if they wish to. Employers actually like that kind of continuum between internship and employment and students also get to try out the companies before they commit to a long-term career in the same company. Speaking of the IWSP, that leads us to the fifth sign that this program is for you. If you want to apply what you have learned in the classroom when you are working in the industry, that is exactly what the IWSP is about. The IWSP, or our internship program if you forgot, is our bridge between the classroom and industry where students get to apply all the knowledge and skills that they have learned in the industry. And what kind of companies do our students work in for their IWSP? I can imagine you asking. Well, our students work in various pharmaceutical companies like Lonza, Novartis, Advi, Pfizer. Other companies that our students work in for their IWSP, which may not seem that pharma to you, but I assure you it's still pharma, are companies like Abbott, Mead Johnson, Roquette, and Terumo. Our students work in these companies in different positions as QA specialists, as intern scientists, assistant engineers, or biotechnologists. Other departments that our students work in during their IWSP include up and downstream manufacturing, QA, QC, or audit readiness and compliance, which bring us to the next point. So what if you work in those roles in those departments? If you are somebody who wants to work in companies that make a difference, then this is the program for you. The pharmaceutical companies that manufacture in Singapore, they are not just any companies. 
The pharmaceutical companies in Singapore, they manufacture many of the global blockbuster drugs, drugs like Advair and Serotide for respiratory illnesses, as well as vaccines and drugs for cancer treatment. And on the same note, eight of the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in the world actually manufactures in Singapore. And these are the companies that make a difference in our lives. They produce medicines, they make vaccines that mankind cannot live without. And of course, as pharmaceutical engineers, when you work in these companies, you make a difference. That brings me to my last point. If you are interested in the pharmaceutical industry, but in the future would still want to explore other opportunities, then I can gladly say that this program is also for you. In this pharmaceutical engineering program, we train engineers with transferable skill sets and our graduates have no problem transitioning from the pharmaceutical industry into other industries like food, life science and fine chemicals. But of course, if you remain in the pharmaceutical industry, there is no lack of opportunities for you in compliance, in supply chain and automation, as well as in process development. These are just some of the examples. Our graduates also work as engineers, as biotechnologists and chemists in the pharmaceutical industry. With that, I hope that you recognize some of the signs that this program is for you. Thanks for listening and I look forward to your application.